Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name is Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. Um, this video is about an installation that we're doing today. It's the morning of the installation and um, we it's very, very small. A couple of access points for a residential client who's struggling with Wi-Fi in their home. Um, and uh, they've just newly moved in lots of solid walls and they just want to improve that uh, improve that signal so we're going to today we're going to put in some Aruba so we've got some Aruba instant on this is uh, the Aruba instant on AP11 which is one of their five uh, Wi-Fi 5 access points um, it's a really nice little access point solidly reliable um, it's uh, all cloud-based apps uh, cloud-based and app-based and it's all free um, it's a very nice little system um, to use. Um, really, they're sort of designed for small business, but it works perfectly for homes as well. So we're going to put one of those or two of those in today, and then we're going to be connecting those um, to a uh, PoE switch. So we've got a TP-Link PoE switch here. This is just an unmanaged PoE switch. Um, it's got five, five ports for four ports PoE and 67 watts. You can see at the front there. Uh, 67 watts of power so um, plenty of capacity these little access points only take I think just over 10 watts of power so um, there's there's plenty of uh, space for the future if they want to grow we have scaled this installation down slightly um, <coughs> I think they were um, when you've got a new house you've got a lot of money to spend on different things so um, this is just one of them so they just scaled it down for now but I suspect we'll be back at some point in the future. Okay also later in the day we're going to be doing um, another Aruba access point. This one we're just going to be flying in and out it will be um, it will be pretty simple we've been there before and they just want to extend what they've already got the ethernet cabling is already in place but in this case we're going to be using the AP22 so this one is like this I'm oh, sorry should have got this out for the video um, this one is almost identical in the way it looks really to the AP11 turn off right so that's the AP22 um, you can see it's like pretty similar really there's not a huge amount of difference some slightly more rounded corners some slightly different branding lights are in a slightly different place, but otherwise it's almost identical. Weirdly on the back as well, the AP11 is black, whereas it's white on the back of um, of the AP22. Good thing about these as well, I mean, we never use it, but as well as PoE, you can also just use your, the, you know, the, uh, a plug um, to come with them, just a, a mains plug, it comes with an adapter. You have to buy the um, specific access points that come with that adapter, it doesn't come with it free. Anyway, that's enough for me rabbiting on. Continue, keep to watch the video and we'll give you some more details of how this installation went. Um, please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to uh, hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos. We're going to try to do as many of these as we can. If you want to buy any of this equipment that you've seen here today, you can buy it from a retail store, wi fi to buycom Okay, let's go on with it. Okay, so this is uh, where we're going to put in the access point. You can see that we've already got an existing Cat5 cable that we're going to nick and we're going to connect the access point to that. Uh, so that will be good. Okay, I've got a bracket on the wall here and uh, I've put a head on the cable and basically we're going to staple the cable along the skirting board and then we can put it into the access point. Right, so the access point's on the wall and uh, it's all good to go. Uh, you can see the cable's stapled along the skirting board and into there and it's all connected. So uh, we just need to go to the other end and get that sorted down there. Okay, so we're at the other end here in the study and it's a right mess. You can see the Cat5 cable that was going through that's just plugged into the router at the moment and we're going to use that and plug it into the PoE switch. Okay, so here's the PoE switch. We've got a connection to the router. This cable is going into the back of the router here and then the other cable is the Cat5 and that's giving PoE. You can see the head's a bit dodgy. It's all done badly, but it is working. So that's good. We're getting the link lights. Okay, the access point is on and the light is blinking orange and yellow, which means it's ready for setup. Right, now we're going to get the other cable in. So first of all, we're going to go and check out the loft and see what is going on up here and whether or not we can get the cable through the eave space. Right, so it looks like we've got a nice clear eave space. Uh, so we should be able to get a rod up there. So hopefully we can go straight from the ground floor all the way to the loft in one shot. Right, this is outside. It's an absolute mess. Look at all these cables. We've got all sorts. Cat5, phone cable, coax, all sorts of cables. And we're going to tidy all this up so it looks much better than this. 
All right, so I've drilled a hole in the soffit, which you can see here, and I've put four meters of rod up there. So we should be getting up to the loft, but we'll go up there now and check it out. Right, success, the rod is here. And we're gonna give that a tug, and then hopefully we'll get the cable coming up with us without any snags or anything like that. So the Cat 6 is in, and to tidy up the Coex and the Cat 5, I've drilled a hole here and then pulled it back through here, ready to go into the conduit. I've put a load of conduit clips down here, and I've put some heads on the aerial cable I had to cut that to enable me to put it into the conduit. Um, there's a the hole, I've got to widen that one, and that's where it's all gonna go into. Okay, so this is my box, and you can see that it is level. Um, the BT box is not level, um, and I've got them all labeled and connected. Um, we put a bit of filler over in the holes over here and there. Um, that obviously still needs some further decoration and that box will probably need taken off, but the client's currently online at the moment. Okay, so this is the finished conduit. As you can see, it looks much tidier than it did before. I've just got to put a little bit of silicon in the hole here and also up at the top here, we just got to put a bit of silicon there and in the hole that I drilled to get the cables through. Now here's a before and an after, so much neater. Right, so now we're in the loft and we've got the access point up and running and this is uh, the final part. So we just got to set this up and then we'll be able to give them Wi-Fi to the areas below. We did talk about putting it in the uh, ceiling, but the client said that they prefer to have it in the loft and really it's not gonna make a huge difference in the performance as it's mainly covering the room below.